AI is moving at unimaginable speed. We have an open source image editor from Alibaba that can edit images way better than the previous best image editors. Then we have a humanoid robot with skills that are surpassing humans, plus a new AI from Google that acts as a personal tutor for kids, and an AI that can take any photo and make it talk or sing with unbelievable realism. I have been second to Joe my whole life in everything. And I will not be the person you settle for just because you cannot have her. And finally, we will see and try a specialized AI designed for virtual try on and try off. Before we start, I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and turn the bell on. First up, we have Quinn Image Edit 2509 from Alibaba's Quinn team. This isn't just another image editor, folks. This AI is a powerhouse that takes your text prompts and edits images with stunning quality and accuracy, whether you're swapping backgrounds, changing styles, or adding entirely new elements. First, I'll show you some of their official demos, and since they might be cherry-picked, I'm going to put it to the test with my own prompts later on. Here, it takes two input images, a man and a woman, and merges them into a single, flawless wedding photo, first in a traditional Chinese style, and then in a modern Korean style. The consistency is amazing. Now watch this. It takes a photo of a woman and places her seamlessly onto a beach chair and then into a cafe. This is perfect for creating composite images without any complex editing. And it's not just for people. The AI can take a product, like a handbag or a car, and place a model next to it, creating a professional-looking product showcase in seconds. This is just incredible for e-commerce. It can even understand and replicate poses. Here, it takes the pose from a key point skeleton and applies it to a completely different person in a different setting. The accuracy is stunning. This is wild. It takes two separate photos of women and places them together on a couch in a third image making it look like they were in the same room all along. The lighting and shadows are perfect. Here we go again with pose editing. It takes a photo of a woman, a separate image of a dress, and a key point pose, and combines all three to create a brand new image with the woman in the new dress and the new pose. Insane. Look at this. It takes a photo of a woman, a handbag, and a necklace, and creates a new image where she's holding the bag and wearing the necklace. This is a huge deal for virtual product placement. It even works as an avatar creator. You can take a casual photo and instantly generate a professional headshot or a lifestyle photo with a completely different background and outfit. Wow, the level of detail is just amazing. It can take a single photo and generate a series of different hand poses. From making a heart shape to holding up a sign, this is so useful for social media content. And of course, <laughs> it can create memes. It takes a photo and with a simple prompt, changes the expression to a happy one and adds text. This is perfect for generating reaction images on the fly. Here it takes a selfie and places the person in a virtual scene, writing on a whiteboard behind them. It literally creates a new environment around the person. It's also incredible at photo coloring. It takes an old black and white photo and intelligently adds realistic color, making the image look like it was taken yesterday. And if you have a damaged photo, no problem. It can restore and colorize old torn up photos, making them look brand new. This is absolutely mind blowing for anyone wanting to preserve old memories. The creative potential is off the charts. You can take a simple character illustration and generate an entire line of merchandise from a 3D figure to a t-shirt and a tote bag. It's also a beast for promotional images. It can take a product photo, place it in a living room and add effects like blowing leaves and even write promotional text on the image. This automates so much of the advertising workflow. Material editing is no problem either. It can take a logo and instantly transform its texture into crystal, embroidery, or polished metal, and even create product mock-ups, like a necklace or a gift box. Just wow! It can even edit the color of text within an image. With simple prompts, it changes the font color to red, blue, gradient, and more. And it's not just the color, but the font type itself. It can change the text to look like it's made of metal, wood, glass, or even silk. The detail is incredible. This is insane. It can edit calligraphy, changing characters within the text while perfectly matching the original artist's style. It can even add text to a completely different image, like this test tube, matching the handwritten style of the existing labels. The consistency is perfect. Here, it takes a poster and makes iterative changes, first changing the font, then turning the cube into a cartoon character, and finally adding two children to the scene. This is a huge time saver for graphic designers. It also has depth control, 
generating a new image that matches the depth map of an input image, but with a completely different style and subject. And here, using the key point pose provided in the middle, it generates a new image of a person in that exact pose, like this woman holding an umbrella or a man standing on a subway platform. Finally, using just a rough sketch, it can transform a photo of a young woman into an elderly one, perfectly capturing the new texture and details described in the prompt. This is just amazing. Here I tried to see how well it handles pose transfer. I took a key point pose from figure one and applied it to the girl in figure two. Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4.0 both failed completely. They couldn't even get the pose right. But look at Quen 2509. It nailed the pose perfectly, keeping the character and background consistent. Quen takes the win here easily. Next, I tried something more complex, a fighting pose. I used the pose from image one and applied it to the two women in image two. Again, Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4.0 completely missed the mark, but Quen 2509 delivered an incredible result, creating a dynamic action shot that looks amazing. Another clear win for Quen. But this one I wanted to test its ability to replace a person in an image while keeping the facial expression of another. The prompt was to replace the guy holding the glass with the second guy, Will Smith, while keeping Leonardo DiCaprio's laughing expression. All the models struggled with this one. Quen didn't understand the prompt at all and gave me this random guy, but I have to admit his aura is off the charts. So for this round, I'm giving the point to Nano Banana. Here, I tried a multi-image composite. I provided an image of Will Smith, Audrey Hepburn, and a cafe, and prompted it to create a mid-shot of them sitting together. Quen's result is consistent, but the faces look like some kind of Chinese version of Will Smith and Audrey Hepburn. Sea Dream's result was just weird, so the winner for this round is Nano Banana, which did a surprisingly good job. Next, I wanted to see if it could copy a facial expression. The prompt was to apply the angry expression from image one to the anime character in image two. Sea Dream and Nana Banana produced some really unnatural results, but you have to give credit to Quen. It really tried to capture that angry expression, especially around the eyes. For that effort, Quinn takes the win. Here, I tried a virtual try-on, asking it to make the woman in image one wear the dress from image two. Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4.0 failed completely, but Quen did a fantastic job seamlessly putting the new dress on the model. It's a clear win with a winning flag for Quen. For this test, I asked the AI to sharpen and upscale an image without changing details. Honestly, they all did a pretty good job, and it really just depends on your personal style. I personally like the results from Quen and Nana Banana. The Sea Dream result is a bit more saturated, which you might like, but it's all a matter of preference. Here, I tried to get it to write on a whiteboard. All of them got the text right, but I have to say I really like the handwriting from the Sea Dream version. And hey, as it says on the board, don't forget to subscribe to AI Shift for more AI news. I tried a much longer prompt next, and here the results were night and day. The Nano Banana output is a mess. It wrote Sea Dance instead of Sea Dream, and even misspelled crazy. Sea Dream 4.0 had a ton of errors too, but look at the Quen result. It's a full note and it's almost flawless. The only mistake it could find was an extra A in Alibaba team. For a prompt this long, that is incredibly impressive. Quen is the clear winner here. And the best part? Quen Emagedit is fully open source under an Apache 2.0 license, which means you can use it and even modify it for your own projects, including commercially. You can try it out for yourself by searching for quen.ai or by clicking the link in the description. It's super casual to use. You just click on image edit, upload your images, it supports up to three on the web version, write your prompt and hit generate. For running it locally, you can find the code and models on their Hugging Face page. You'll also find the pre-trained weights and instructions. In practice, the model requires approximately 17 gigabytes plus VRAM in normal settings, though quantized versions can run on as little as eight gigabytes. This week, Unitree's G1 got a ton of new skills, and this robot is seriously starting to surpass average humans. Look at how incredibly stable this thing is. He's getting kicked and pushed, and it just takes it and recovers instantly. It can even walk and adapt its posture while getting hit. It's absolutely crazy how fast it stands up. After getting kicked hard, it gets back up in less than a second. Even I couldn't get up like that if I was knocked off. That recovery is just so amazing. Wow. And it's not just stable, it's a full-on martial artist. Look at it practicing these moves. The fluidity is just incredible. And watch this. 
It can do an aerial spinning kick. This robot's agility has clearly surpassed what an average person can do. It can even do acrobatics and dance. Now it's busting out some dance moves. Look at this backflip. It's perfect and even does consecutive flips. It's just so cool. Honestly, I expect to see robots like this taking over daily chores and being deployed in all sorts of industries within the next five years. The future is coming fast. Moving on, Google is changing the game for education with AI Quests. This is a brilliant interactive learning tool designed for kids and teenagers that uses AI to create immersive real-world scenarios. It's built to teach critical thinking and responsible AI use through fun, story-driven adventures. AI Quests drops you into these beautifully designed worlds where you have to solve real problems. As you can see, you explore different environments from lush forests to alien deserts and interact with characters to complete your mission. It's an interactive learning experience, not just a game. The core of AI Quests is about making choices. Here, a student is working on a quest to predict floods. They have to select the right data like rainfall and humidity to train an AI model. Then they test the model's accuracy and use it to place market stalls in safe locations. It's a hands-on way to learn how AI can be used to solve real-world challenges from flood forecasting to diagnosing diseases. This is an incredible tool for education. Currently, AI Quests is still in development, so you can't try it just yet. But the team is working on it, and you can see more videos and learn about the project on their official website. As always, I've put the links for the video and their site down in the description box. Check this out. From Tongyi Lab at Alibaba, this is 1-2-SV, or speech to video. This incredible AI takes a single still image and an audio track and generates a stunningly realistic video of a person speaking, singing, or even rapping. The process is simple. You provide an input image and an input audio file, and the AI generates a high-quality, synchronized video. It's that easy. Here, it takes a still image of an actor in an audio clip and animates him perfectly, capturing all the subtle expressions and head movements. Now, now you listen to me. If you jump, you're not gonna wake up, remember? You're gonna die, now just, just step back inside. Come on, step back inside so we can talk about this. It's flawless. It even works on historical figures. Watch as it brings a photo of Albert Einstein to life. Listen, Morty, I hate to break it to you, but what people call love is just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breed. It hits hard, Morty, then it slowly fades, leaving you stranded in a failing marriage. I did it. Your parents are gonna- The lip sync is perfect, and the expressions feel completely natural. Amazing. And it can handle cinematic scenes, too. Here, it takes a still image from a movie and animates the character speaking. Look, when you were young, you had a choice to either be a lepidopterist or to join the army. You chose the army. That led to Kingsman. You became a Kingsman agent. This is incredible for filmmakers and content creators. This is one of my favorites. It animates a classic scene from a movie, and the result is just perfect. I believe in America. America has made my fortune. And I raised my daughter in the American fashion. I gave her freedom, but I taught her neighbor to dishonor her family. The emotion in the performance is all there. It works with any photo. Here's a man holding an apple, and the animation is just as seamless. The city had to ration fresh water after the first year of the siege. And here's a woman in a period drama. I have been second to Joe my whole life in everything. And I will not be the person you settle for just because you cannot have her. The AI captures a subtle emotional performance perfectly. Just a quick heads up, the next two demos feature songs, so the audio might be muted due to copyright. Here's a man walking by a train, and the AI animates him singing, with the movement and expressions looking completely natural. A hundred miles, a hundred miles, rolling tracks and endless trials, the whistle sings. The heart complies A hundred miles A hundred miles The realism is just incredible. And finally, a woman in a studio setting. The sun sinks low Behind the hill The 
The lip sync is perfect, and the way she moves her head and expresses the song is just mind blowing. And this is out now. You can find the code, models, and demos on their GitHub and Hugging Face pages. The links for everything are down in the description box. Finally, get ready for Voost. This is a specialized AI designed for virtual try-on, and it is absolutely incredible at what it does. If you're a designer, a shopper, or anyone who wants to see how clothes look on a person without a real photo shoot, this is for you. The official showcase gives you a great idea of what it can do. On top, you have the try-on feature, where it takes a piece of clothing and realistically places it on different models in various poses. And on the bottom, you have try-off, where it takes an outfit from a model and shows you what the clothing item looks like on its own. The realism is incredible. Here's a great example. It takes a t-shirt and puts it on a model and the result is just perfect. Next, a hoodie and swim trunks on a man at the beach. It looks completely natural. And here, a Texas USA t-shirt on a model in a city scene. Flawless. It can even handle elegant clothing, like this white dress on a woman by a piano. This one is amazing. It takes a patterned shirt and puts it on a model in front of a graffiti wall. The AI perfectly blends it in. And here, a sweater with a cat on it. The result is just so clean. It can even do just the lower body, swapping in a pair of jeans perfectly. Wow. Now for the try-off. It takes the Real Madrid jersey right off the player. Amazing. Here, it extracts a black dress with gold trim a rainbow sweater from a man next to a taxi, and here it extracts his red camo pants, a blue Fila jersey with the number 33, next a pair of ripped jeans with an apple patch, a light blue shirt, perfect extraction, and finally a red dress. The accuracy is just incredible. Now let's see how it compares. In this first set with the striped shirt, orange sweater, and gray skirt, you can see Voost just looks more natural and realistic than any of the other models. It's the same story with this next set, the tennis outfit, a lace vest, and a racing t-shirt all look incredible with Voost, while the others struggle with distortion and realism. And one last comparison, this time with three different t-shirts. Voost is just in a league of its own here, with the other models just not holding up. You know, when we've tested virtual try-on with other top image editors, only Quen was able to do it well. But Voost was billed for this, and it's just on another level. Here, I'll show you how easy it is to use. I just go to their demo, upload my model image, then upload the garment, in this case, a gold dress. I select full body, hit run, and wow, the result is perfect. It's that simple. I tried it again with this blue floral dress. Same process, another flawless result. And one more time with a green blouse. It's just amazing every single time. It can even isolate different parts of the body. Here, I uploaded a photo of Lewandowski and a suit, but I selected upper body. The result is pretty good, but it has a flaw. It changed his black shirt to a white one and even changed his shorts. I did the same thing again, but this time I selected lower. Now he's wearing the suit pants with his jersey. This one's perfect. And finally, I selected full body. The AI creates the full suit perfectly, but again, it swapped his black shirt for a white one. So it's great, but not quite perfect. You can try Voost for yourself right now. There's a public demo available on Hugging Face Spaces. It's also open source, so you can check out the code on GitHub and run it yourself. And I think that's it for this video. Which news did you find the most useful? I think all of them are mind-blowing, but if I had to pick just one, I'd go with Quinn Image Edit. The sheer versatility is a massive leap forward. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and hitting the bell. And also, leave your thoughts and feedbacks in the comments. Until next time, folks.